okay composition of function when a car driver depresses the accelerator pedal it controls the flow of fuel which in turn influences the speed of the car likewise the composition of two function is a kind of chain reaction where the function act upon one another we can explain this further with the concept of function is a process if f and g are two functions then the composition of f of g uh, g of f of x is performed in two step feed and input say x to f feed the output f of x to g of x this is called g of f of x we denote this as g of f of x can be denoted as g of f of x okay here x is a function x is a variable we are using x in f of uh, in f to provide a equation all right we are providing this f of x directly into g of x to provide another equation all right combine the equation when you see illustration we will get it okay consider set a of all students who appeared in class 10 board exam each student appearing in the board exam is assigned a roll number in order to have confidentiality the board arranges to deface the roll number of each student and assign a code number to each roll number let a be set of all students a set of all students appearing in board exam b subset of n subset or equivalent subset or equivalent set to n b b the set of all roll numbers and c set of all code numbers this give rise to two function f from a to b and g from b to c given by b equal to f of a first we are applying b equal to f of a then we are applying this f of a into c to get the result so we can write c equal to f of b equal to g equal to f of a this one is f of a that's why we write like this thus the combination of these two functions each student is eventually attached a code number this idea leads to the following definition so let f from a to b and g from b to c be two functions in fig then the composition of f and g denoted by g of f is defined as the g of f of x that is g of f of x all right where all element of x is in a or element of x is in a now when we go through the sum we will understand it more all right what find f of g and g of f given f of x equal to 2f 2x plus 1 g of x equal to x square minus 2 so this is the given data first f of g of x that is f of x square minus 2 this is f in place of x i am going to substitute x square minus 2 so 2 into x square minus 2 plus 1 so 2 into x square 2x square 2 into minus 2 minus 2 okay minus 2 plus 1 You'll be getting the result. Okay, what's this? Mm. Okay, two of minus two is minus four plus one minus three. When we go to this is f of g of x is empty. When it is g of f of x, I'm going to apply f of x in g. So g of two x plus one. When I substitute x equal to two x plus one in g. Then two x plus one whole square minus two. This is a square. Two x whole square. Two x whole square. Then plus two into a two x into b one plus b square minus two. We already have them. So what is two x whole square? Four x square plus. 4x 2 into 2 4x 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 is 
wrong minus one right we should not miss that value we can see that f of x is 2x squared minus 3 g of x is 4x squared plus 4x minus 1 these are not equal it can be equal sometimes provided they are given that it is equal or else it's not equal okay so generally f of g not equal to g of f for the function two functions f and g so composition of function is not commutative this property a plus b equal to b plus a this is commutative property of addition this is true but f of g commutative property of function composite function is not true f of g not equal to g of f right so in this example what we are going to do in this example we are going to represent f of x equal to root of x squared minus 5x plus 3 all right so i can take this as x that is f of f of x equal to x and i can take they have taken this as f of x okay given as f of x so i can take g of x equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 so this would be f of g f of g would be root x all right so when we apply here f equal to here what happens f of x equal to root x g of x equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. When I apply that, this one is f1 of f2. All right. You can consider this as g or g also because we went through this fg and the third function will be h. So they are given f of x here. You can take this as g of x. It doesn't mean you have to take f1 of x only, f2 of x only. This is more confusing g of x is fine for us so you can take it as g of x itself it's up to you to take all right you can put a of x also that's that's also your problem all right you can you're assuming this is f of x this is g of x okay right check this question in this question they are specifically oh oh i did a huge mistake you think so mm. I will add a page in between. We missed something very important. The exercise sum got deleted. That f of x sum. This one, first one is not there. So the first sum specifies. First, we saw example. With that example, we are going to check whether f of g equal to g of f. Okay. They are given f from 1 to 5. Give a number. 4. We'll do fourth sum. All right. Fourth sum. All right. f of x equal to f of x equal to 3 plus x g of x equal to x minus 4 we have to check whether f of g equal to g of f so lhs is f of g that is f of g of x that is f of g of x is x minus 4 when I substitute x minus 4 in place of f, which is 3 plus x minus 4, the answer is x minus 1. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. All right. So RH is equal to g of f, which is equal to g of 
f of x, which is equal to g of 3 plus x. When I substitute 3 plus x here, 3 plus x minus 4. Here, again, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So we got x minus 1. For this question, LHS equal to RHS. It's generally not equal, but there is a possibility. I told you there is also a possibility we can get it as equal. All right. So that's how we got this. Here, RHS equal to LHS. Hence, F of G equal to G of F. We can put this as equation 1 and equation 2 also. Equation 1 equal to 2. So RHS equal to LHS. Hence, F of G equal to G of F. We have to specify like this. Okay. For this sum, it came as equal. Well and good. Then we have to check with the other sums. While you're working with each and every sum, you'll find that sum, you will find it as equal. And sum, it will not be equal. All right. So this is how we have to work on that one. We went through this. Okay. We went through this. Mm. Check this sum. Here, f of x equal to 3x minus 2. g of x equal to g of x equal to 2x plus k. They specifically given that f of g equal to g of f. So we have to find f of g, then g of x, then we have to equate it. When you equate, we are uh, doing this f of g, we found, a, found out f of g, then g of f, it's given that f of g equal to g of f. Hence, we are equating both this. Here, 6x, 6x would be getting cancelled. Then, here 3k is the minus 2 is here. I will take the constant to one side. It becomes plus 2. k this side. It becomes minus k. So, 3k minus k. These two get cancelled. These two. Sorry. These two get cancelled. 3k minus k is 2k. Minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So, k equal to minus 2 by 2. Minus 1. All right. Okay. Minus 1. So, this is what we will be doing in the next exercise. Finding the value for k. Substituting the value for k. All right. Here, what we are doing. Here also, find k. They are given that f of f of k is 5. Where f of k is 2k minus 1. So, f of f of k. Substituting 2 into, that is, f of 2k minus 1. I had to apply again 2k minus 1 in the place of k. So that's why it comes as 2 into 2k minus 1 minus 1, 4k minus 3. What is this? This is 5. This is 5. So when I substitute this, automatically this goes here, you would be getting the result. It will become 8, 4k equal to 8, so k equal to 2. All right. This one is composition of three functions. All right f of g of first we have to composite this one to a single term then that will be composited with this one here we will composite this one then we will substitute h in this term all right so we will be getting composite we found that f of g of h is always equal to f of g of h that is completing this one first and applying it in f, f of g, applying h in that, both will be same, all right? 
it is also proven result we will verify whether it is true or not all right we will verify whether it is true or not so check this example f of x g of x and h of x prove that f of g of h is equal to f of g of h first first step is lhs in lhs f of g of h equal to first we have to complete one part all right then complete the second part here we are working with two important things g of h and f of g if you first complete that before and it will be easy for you all right it will be easy for you or is it will be kind of tough it will be kind of tough as let's check how it will be proceeding here you can add a page here this sum itself this sum itself f of x equal to 2x plus 3 g of x equal to they would not put the steps they will not add the steps all right but we have to be sharp we have to be sharp what i generally used to do is i will segregate first into two parts first i will find g of h and f of g to make things simple to not uh, not making it complicated i will convert okay first i will do this g of h g of h first this is g of h of x right that is g of h of x is 3x i am going to apply 3x in g of x so 1 minus 2 into 3x so 1 minus 6x okay then f of g f of f of g so f of g of x f of g of x then f of what is g of x 1 minus 2x 1 minus 2x then applying in f of x 2 into 1 minus 2x plus 3 so 2 into 2 2 2 into minus 2x is 2 into minus 2x is minus 4x you are missing the minus term repeatedly so these are the kinds of mistakes we will not know that we are making all right if i miss that minus automatically the answer will be f of g of x not equal to g of f of x all right so 2 minus 4x plus 3 this becomes minus 4x 2 plus 3 5 see here. all these exercise are concerned with the fifth exercise which i told positives negatives everything will be very very important when you start working with those this will become easy okay i already done this by uh, this many number of practices so obviously it would become easy for you all right this is what we have to do so we have got g of h then f of g what's the question f of g of h so from this what i will do f of g of h f of g of h equal to f of g of h is 1 minus 6x so 2 into 1 minus 6x plus 3 2 into 1 minus 6x plus 3 so 2 into 2 2 2 into 1 2 2 into plus into minus minus first put the sign then only we have to proceed 12x plus 3 so this is minus 12x plus 5 all right plus 5 here f of g of h 
f of g of h so oh, i put it other way around f of g first this of h which is f of g h value is 3x 3x which is minus 4 into 3x plus 5 hence minus into plus minus 12x plus 5 so we have got it minus 12x plus 5 equal thus hence uh, we can put it as 1 and 2 equation 1 equal to equation 2 hence f of g of h equal to f of g of h hence proof you can see that there is a systematic method okay here here and finally i made sure that both are coming in the same line and the teacher also can easily check is it so i can easily segregate the page and complete this whole five mark in a single page pakka okay this is what i got the result all right you have to work on the signs while multiplying with the sign you are having some difficulties make sure you work on the signs okay so using function f of ah uh, this one we went through already went through oh it came here all right see here this one g of f of f f of x g of f of f of x first we have to apply f of x and f all right that is in this 3x plus 1 itself in this place we have to substitute 3x plus 1 then after that we will be getting a value this value should be uh, substituted in g so 9x plus 4 plus 3 okay then they want us to find f of g of g of x we have to substitute g of x in g itself first g of x in g itself then after substituting this substitute this x plus 6 in f 3 into x plus 6 plus 1 19 we can see that these two quantities we are given both these are equal so we are equating both these quantities 3x will be coming here 9x minus 3x 7 would be going here 9x minus 3x equal to 19 minus 7 so 6x equal to 12 x equal to 2 that's what they are given directly because one sum they solved for you this is how you have to do after that they will not solve again we have to do this that's why i left space okay we would be needing some space to add for this ah then this question find the value of k f f of g equal to g of f for both the sums okay what is f of g f of g f of g of x is 6 minus 6x minus k so when i substitute in this 3 into 6x minus k plus 2 so 18x minus 3k plus 2 that's it all right then g of f g of f okay g of f equal to g of f of x that is g of 3x plus 2 so substituting 6 into 3x plus 2 minus k so 18x plus 12 minus k when i 
from given f of g equal to g of f is centered. So, 18x minus 3k plus 2 equal to 18x plus 12 minus k. 18x, 18x will get cancelled. If it's in opposite side of the equal to sign, the same numbers. If there is a 6, 6, we can cancel it. All right. then we can cancel it easily, all right? So next step, minus k would come here, two would go here. So minus three k plus k equal to 12 minus two. So minus two k equal to 10. K equal to 10 by minus two. Minus five, all right? Likewise, this sum. find f of x, G of X equated, cancel and get the answers. So this is the fundamental. These sums also involve the same. All right. These sums also involve the same. They are given that F of G equal to G of F equal to X. The value of that itself is X. We have to find F of G, then G of G, or G of F, this will also be x, this will also be x. We have to show that. In this, find a, g of f of a. First, I have to substitute a in f of x. So a squared minus one. Here, when I substitute a in f, I will get g of f of a equal to g of a squared minus one i'm substituting a in place of x then when i substitute this it becomes a squared minus one minus two minus one minus two so they are given that this value is one so one equal to a squared minus one minus two when this this is minus three when this goes here it becomes plus three so a squared equal to four. Taking square root, taking square root, square root, a equal to plus or minus two. Okay. Likewise, we can answer all the questions in a very simple manner. Okay. Check about this fifth. A, B, and C are the subset of n function f from a to b be defined by f of x equal to 2x plus 1. g of x equal to, okay, uh, g b to c is defined, uh, b to c, g of x equal to x squared. Find the range of f of g and g of f. Just find f of g and g of, g of f, what equation it is formed, what equation it will form first. Then, Apply that equation. Check with uh, check with the diagram. Check with the mm, check with the diagram, and you will find what is the range of it. It will be from here to here. All right. In graph, this is the space for that. This is the range of it. All right. We'll be getting that. Then here, they are given only f of x. We have to find f of f. Then f of f of f so f of f is f of x square minus one so x squared minus one whole square when i substitute in this x squared minus one in this place minus one whole square minus one this one would become 
a minus b whole square formula a square x square whole square minus 2 into x square into 1 minus 2 a b plus b square 1 minus 1 okay so both these get cancelled x square power 2 is x power 4 minus 2x square we got f of f first one for the second one f of f of f so f of x power 4 minus 2x square so x power 4 minus 2x square whole square minus 1 this becomes x power 4 power 8 minus 2x 2 into 2a 2 into 2 into a x power 4 into b 2x square plus b square hmm? Hmm. actually i put the overall value directly i won't be uh, putting these x power 4 power 2 i'll be uh, writing directly so i wrote it okay 2x square whole square minus 1 so x power 8 minus into plus minus 2 into 2 4 x power 4 into x square x power 6 plus 2 into 2 square 4 x power 4 minus 1. Okay. This is what we have to work on. All right. Then define by check if f g are 1, 1, 1, 1 to 1 and g or f of g is 1 to 1. First, we have to check whether f is 1 to 1, g is 1 to 1 and then f of g is 1 to 1. How to find it? Okay. Mm. With an arrow diagram, we can. So we have to work for at least some question to find whether this is one to one or not all right actually i can say that f of x is one to one but g of x is not one to one f of g of x would be would not be one to one it will not be one to one because I can perceive that if I put x equal to minus 1, it becomes minus 1 power 5 would become minus 1. If I put plus 1, it becomes plus 1 itself. Then if I put minus 2, it becomes minus of 2 power 5. 2 power 5 is? So here will be minus 64. Here it will be, if I put plus 2, it would be plus 64. Every number is having a unique, unique one, 1 to 1. But when I put the same minus 1 in x power 4, it becomes 1. Plus 1, it becomes 1. All right. So when I combine this f of g, f of g, that is, check here, this f of g f of g is x power 4. So, x power 4, power 5. This becomes x power 20. It is a odd number. Uh, sorry, even number. So, when if I put minus 1, f equal to minus 1, f equal to minus 1, I'd be getting the same result. Minus 1 itself. If I put plus 1, it becomes plus 1. If I put 2, it will be according to that. It will be in positive. It will be in negative. 
both will be positive so every number has two two things will be having one image hence this is not one to one but g of x is one to one sorry f of x is one to one g of x is not one to one this is also not one to one okay this is uh, this is one to one this is not and this is also not one to one okay when you simplify the result you will be getting the answer easily all right okay we already went through we already went through this hmm? how to work just segregate the page first f of g then g of h then f of g of h g of h f of g of h and you will be getting the answer immediately and equate it immediately and say ends prove in each case all the cases this will be true all right so you can't get it's not equal f of g not equal to g of a g of f but sometimes it can be here always it is okay all right here f minus 1 comma 3 0 1 minus 2 minus minus 9 be a linear function from z to z find f of x find f of x how to find it is there any way to find it not sure see these are points only no linear function is it forms a line it forms a line nothing much it forms a line we can take two things and equate and get the result also all right we can take two and work on it and get the result or else in analytical last year you would have studied about lines from that you can apply two point form and get the result or else you will be learning it this year all right applying that it will be easy to find all right it will be easy to find see so here y minus y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 this is a formula this is x1 y1 x2 y2 so applying in this y minus y1 values 3 divided by y2 0 minus 3 equal to x minus x1 is minus 1 hence it becomes plus 1 divided hmm? minus of minus 1 becomes plus 1 all right here x2 sorry y2 is minus 1 isn't it y2 is minus minus 1 minus 3 x2 is 0 minus of minus 1 plus 1 so y minus 3 divided by minus 4 equal to x plus 1 divided by 1 so when this minus 4 goes here y minus 3 equal to minus 4 into x plus 1 y minus 3 equal to minus 4x minus 4 minus 4x goes here minus 4 goes here so 4x minus so plus y minus 3 plus 4 it becomes plus 1 equal to 0 that is the equation of f of x y equal to y equal to minus 4x minus 1 y is f of x in terms of x y in terms of x will be f of x so the answer would be f of x that is y equal to minus 4x minus 1 this is how you'd be getting the result all right <clears throat> next one in electric circuit theory 
CT is called linear circuit if it satisfies the superposition principle that is C of AT1 plus BT1 equal to ACT1 plus BCT1 where A and B are constant. Show that the circuit C of T equal to 3T is linear. C of T equal to 3T. We have to apply the value of 3T. Ap apply the value of 3T in C and get one result. Here, here we have to apply A T1 plus B T2 in C T. All right. In place of T, I will be applying this one. All right. Here, in place of T, I will be applying 3T. A C3 uh, A C3 uh, C T1 and B C2. So while equating, I'll be getting the result. All right. A by B, I'll be getting the result. So everything is progressive. Progress check. State your answer for the following question by selecting the correct option. Compression of function is commutative. Is that true or not? If not, no, sometimes. We found sometimes it was equal, all right? Compression of function is associative. It's always true. F of G of H always equal to associative is F of G of H always equal to F of G of H. This is associative. Commutative is F of G equal to G of F or G of F. This is sometime commutative, but not always. Okay. But this one is always true. Given h of x equal to f of g of x. Fill the table of h of x. Mm. They are given the data. What would be for 2? What would be f of x for 2? What would be f of x for 3? and 4. They want us to find h of x, which is f of g of x. So f of g of x, the value is 1. So when I substitute g of 1, what is g of 1? 2. f of 2 is? f of 2 is 3. All right. Then when I substitute value as 2, g of 2, what is g of 2? 4. So, f of 4 is 4. All right. Like that, we have to substitute and get the result. Identi identifying the gra graphs of linear, quadratic, and cubic and reciprocal functions. Okay. What is a linear function? Linear function is a line. Okay. Linear function. That is, what is a linear function? Example, f of x equal to x plus 5. The power 1 will be linear function. All right. Power 1 would be linear function. Here, in linear function, they are specifying the identity function. That is, f of x equal to x. If I substitute 1, I'll be getting 1. If I substitute minus 1, I'll be getting minus 1. So, this will be the line y equal to x. I already told that f of x equal to y. All right. So this is the line y equal to x. That is x minus y equal to 0. This is the line. This is known as additive inverse. What is additive inverse? Is This comes in fourth standard. If I uh, give a number, give a number, any number, 7. For what value of x, it becomes 0. Minus 7. So, minus 7 is additive inverse of 7. All right. So, that's what they are saying. F of x equal to minus x. Additive inverse. If I put 
f of 1 it becomes minus 1 f of 2 f of minus 1 becomes 1 so this is the additive inverse for this it will be here this way around so y equal to minus x so the equation is x plus y equal to 0 would be this equation all right this is modulus or absolute value function where we will be taking the magnitude alone no signs so for x will be uh, for f of x modulus it means that greater than 0 it will be x lesser than 0 that is for minus x also it would be x so when i put f of minus 1 modulus of minus 1 1 f of 1 modulus of 1 this is also 1 so for minus 1 it is 1 minus 1 it is 1 for plus 1 it is 1 we didn't just do all the graphs before just for sake we did it for some requirement these are the requirement not only here it will come again in analytical geometry we have to, so we would be doing a lot of pointing work in analytical geometry. Then uh, in, in some places of algebra also, we have to do this and get the result. All right. So we have to sh be sharp enough with these questions. All right. Okay. Models function is not linear function, but it, uh, it is composed of two linear functions, x and minus x. We already saw f of x equal to x it has the line this way it has the line this way f of minus x it has the line this way around all right so the positive value of this would be giving the modular line okay linear functions are always one to one function and as application in cryptography as well as several branches of science and technology linear function Okay. The next one would be quadratic, uh, quadratic and cubic functions. What happened to? Hmm. Next one would be quadratic function. That is, a x squared plus b x plus c. It means the highest degree is two. Then it is a quadratic function. It can be x squared also. It can be x squared minus 1 also. It can be x squared plus x also. Yeah, highest degree should be 1. We can't put x plus 5. This is linear. All right. So, in this, if f of x equal to x squared, then this curve will be formed. This curve will be formed. If I draw a line here, we can see that it has two values so many to one function all right but the linear this line we can cut only in one place if i draw a vertical line so this is one to one function this is many to one function quadratics are many to one function all right if it's minus x squared it will be inverted here too we can say that this is a many to one function, not one to one function. The equation of motion of particle traveling under the influence of gravity is a quadratic function of time. These functions are not one to one. It is many to one function. All right. That is what nothing other. What they are specifying here is if I throw I'm standing in the ground. If I'm throwing a ball to a person, it moves in this direction and goes here. This is a quadratic function or related with time. How much speed, how much, at what velocity you are throwing. It will move, go on, 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 on. As it's moving, there'll be pull from gravity. So it slows down and stops at maximum height and again falls down. If a person is playing badminton, he'll be putting the cock here above the net. Automatically, it goes and falls. 
so this is a quadratic equation only all right if i am opening a pipe water is flowing this is also a quadratic function this is also a quadratic function it will be a quadratic function all right so this is what it's all about then what is cubic function if it's in x cube the highest power is x cube then it is cubic function f of x equal to x cube will be like this the curve will be like this x squared will be like this this is known as parabola the curve will be like this it will be going on here and going on here all right and if it's a reciprocal function for 1 1 by x for 2 1 by 2 for 3 goes on then we'll be having a reciprocal function it has both ways all right reciprocal function and what is a constant function a constant function is where it doesn't change for any values that is f of x equal to 5 c means 5 or 10 or minus 10 whatever it is let it be all right okay is constant function a linear function is constant function a linear function what do you what do you think ma yeah line definitely it is a linear function s a quadratic function a one on one to one function no good is cubic function one to one function yes check the diagram yes it is is the reciprocal function a bijunction no good if f equal to f from a to b is a constant function then the range of f will be then the range constant range will be yeah that's it one element completed all right so this is the first chapter okay what about the one marks n of a cross b equal to 6 a equal to 1 comma 3 then n of b is great work it will be definitely it will be 3 3 good then a equal to a b p b equal to 2 3 c equal to p q r s n of a union b cross c is cross b is ha huh? how come first a union c all right so a 1 2 3 3 here p is already here. so i can't do this q r s so 6 6 into 2 okay very good all right be careful before answering all right if a equal to 1 comma 2 and b equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and c equal to 5 comma 6 d equal to 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 then state which of the following statement is true very good all right these two would be forming 2 into 2 4 these two these four would be forming 4 into 4 16 these four will be definitely inside this so a cross c subset of b cross d is the exact answer well done ma you have to justify your answer okay if there are 1024 relations for set 1 2 3 4 5 2 0 0 b then the number of elements in b yes Hmm? Two. Two. 
okay two power p power q two power p q you got it right two power formula we had this formula 2 power pq is the number of relations so we have 1 2 3 4 5 2 power 10 is 1024 i already told you all right if you don't know this question is it will be gone all right 2 power 10 1024 is 2 power 10 so 2 power here 5 5 into q all right so equal to 2 power 10 so this is equal these two are equal 5 q equal to 10 so q equal to 10 by 5 all right good very good all right very good but i need the exact requirement 2 power p q all right you should definitely do that okay Okay, good. All right. This can't be. This can't be first. This only has the prime numbers. All right. This only has the prime numbers. Here, the prime number 11 is not here. So, this can't be. We have to square. By squaring, we can't have this one. So, automatically, this is the answer. All right. We have to select the choices carefully. For multiple choice question, the best way to answer is ignoring the wrong answer first and minimizing the number of number of options. Then out of the option, which should be the right one. All right. Okay. This one. They are given two pairs which are equal. They want to they want a comma b all right a comma b so a plus 2 equal to 5 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 so a equal to 3 then how to find b that's what i told we should not do that okay we found a equal to 3. In only one option, a is 3. So, this is the answer. Okay. I told you, no. in multiple choices, this is what a sharp person needs. These are, these are the questions which you would be receiving in higher exam also for government exams, net exam, TET exam. For all that, you would be receiving these kind of questions. So you got A equal to 3. Why you have to go for B? All right. Only one choice as A is 3. So that should be the answer. Okay. okay. Good. So let N of A equal to M. N of B equal to N. Then the total number of non-empty relations that can be defined from A to B. Good. Mn. Two power Mn. Mm -hmm. Come out of that off. Huh? That is the composite function. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here. Represent the identity function. Identity. Then the value of A and B is? Option A. 
identity is 8 to 8, 1 to 1, 2 to 2. So it will be same number, isn't it? 8, 6. All right. 8, 6. Here we found A. So these are not choices. So within this two only. This is if it's a constant function, it will be fine. It's not a constant function. So this one identity, this one is the right answer. Very good. That's it. You completed the whole chapter. Okay. Whole chapter has been completed. And I am happy you are coping up. I want you to pick up speed to my level. Okay? To my level. Because I want you to clear tet and net. Alright? Tet and net. Without speed, you can't do that. Dream is dime a dozen. Dream is dime a dozen when it's not put into action. Okay? Becoming a a teacher is a very good thing. All right. What kind of teacher I'm going to be? That's very, very important. So think properly, work effectively, you'll be getting the result faster. Okay. This is what you have to do. Work properly, move on, 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 on. You will definitely reach a position where no one can reach you. All right. That's where you have to be. Okay, this is what all these is about. I'm going to make you work on another type also now. Hmm? Before proceeding to the next chapters and all, we need a lot of works to be done. A lot of works to be done. So let's check what we can add. New material, I don't want new material. It will be in old material, I think so. Trying to hold these are all the exercises which I created. There are still more. What's the value for this? Mm. What is 63 into 11? Six hundred and ninety one. Wrong answer. Last digit should be three into one. Three. All right. What's the value of sixty eight into eleven? Seven hundred and forty-eight. This is the right one. Okay. What's the value for all the things which I mark? I'll be giving five seconds time for each, and I'll be marking the next one. I want you to answer within the five seconds. Okay. okay. One, two, three. 253 is right. This one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, Good, to, uh, 363. Uh, don't get flustered. Make it cool and simple. Okay. 
which one you want answer for in this in this six if you want to ask a question to me which one it will be eight to eight okay any other question 78 into 11 is 858 any question 528 34 374 867 81 into 11, 891. See here, there is two combination in the sets. Okay, two combination in sets. That is, when you add two digit, if the addition is a unit digit, then insert that unit digit in between. 17 into 11, 1 plus 7, 8, 1. 87 insert that digit that's the answer okay so if it's unit digit one addition of these two eight seven all right that is when the sum is a unit number within nine until nine okay until nine so 12 into 11 is 132 25 into 11 is 275 okay 13 into 11 is 143. 62 into 11 is 682. 6 plus 2, 8. 43 into 11 is 473. 72 into 11 is 792. All right. And the other type is when you add, it is a double digit from 10 to 18. Then what I have to do? 8 plus 5 is 13. So 8, 1 digit, 5, first and last digit. Okay. But I can't add 13 here. I can't do that. I can add only one digit. So what I will do? 1, 3, 935. 935 would be the answer. So when I'm answering this, 7, 77 it's 14 automatically i will rise one year eight unit digit four and final digit seven it looks like it's immediate answer but the process which is happening is just raising one if it's 82 into 11 it's 10 isn't it so raise one towards eight nine zero 94 into 11 10 raise nine one, ten, three, four. Ten. One digit I had to add. No, the unit digit of that. Three, four. Eighty-eight into eleven. Nine, six, eight. Got it? So, this will be one option. I try this exercise with students. Right? When they normally get the multiplication, even a fast one like you for this 90 multiplication it took around 25 minutes but when the same exercise is taught with the rules how to be how to do that the same multiplication was done in five minutes all 90 multiplications in five minutes i would be doing this in three minutes itself because I'm training others with these. So I would become faster, faster, faster. I'll be just writing the answer just like that and complete everything. So when we work on it, you would be getting the result. Oh, this is what. So this exercise, I want you to work on. Okay. Then this exercise. Okay. 
formation of quadratic equation and cubic equation. Right. This is the formula which you would have studied in eighth eighth grade. X plus A into X plus B is equal to X squared. A plus B into X plus AB. All right. While you're factorizing, this is the one you are doing. If you multiply a number X squared plus 3X plus 2, if I factorize this, what I would be doing? If I multiply the number, it should be 2. That is A into B equal to 2. If I add the same number, I should get 3. So 2 into 1. So multiplying, I'm getting 2. And adding, I'm getting 3. So x squared plus 3x plus 2. x squared plus 3x plus 2. OK? This is what you have to do. This is what you have to do. All right? So. So in this exercise, you're having A and B, all right? Both are positive, no problem. I'm going to form equation, quadratic equation with this, all right? X squared, A plus B, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5X plus AB, 6. A into B, 6. X squared plus 7X plus 12 x squared plus 9x plus 20, x squared plus 11x plus 30, x squared plus 13x plus 42, x squared plus 15x plus 56, x squared plus 17x plus 72. That is, I'm adding and simultaneously, I'm multiplying two. That's why I could be fast with this. Right. So x squared plus 19x plus 90. x squared plus 21x plus 110. x squared plus 23x plus 132. This 132, how I did? 1 plus 2 is 3. So I substituted that also inside. Okay. Here, it is minus plus. There are positives and negatives, combination of positives and negatives. So x squared is fine. 1 minus 2 is minus. So minus x. All right, minus x. Plus into minus, minus 2. x squared plus x minus 6. x squared minus x minus 12. x squared plus x minus 20 x squared minus x minus 30. So I'm doing the multiplication in my mind. All the signs, multiplication, everything is getting stored in mind. So I'm getting the data. So oh, this is how a quadratic equation is formed. And what you'll be doing here is you have to find this 5 and 6. That is, if I segregate this, it will become x plus 5, x plus 6. So when you form numerous quadratic equations, you'd be knowing, oh, I can do all these kinds of GPs in it. And I'd be getting the answers easily. All right. So automatically you'd be your mind would be set. Whatever quadratic equation you get, you would immediately start solving. Okay, this is what this is what this is what. Right. That's why I want you to do this exercise. Okay. So this one is quadratic. There will be minus, minus, plus, plus, then positive, negative. We'll be forming quadratic equations for this. Okay. And this is cubic equation. Cubic equation. Cubic equation would be x plus a into x plus b into x plus a is x cube. a plus b plus c into x squared. AB plus BC plus CA into X plus ABC. It is one of the most required thing when you're working for algebra. All right. For me, how you'd be having cubic polynomials. You have to find this one, two, three also. 
how to find there will be lot of methods to follow so when you know how to form a question how a question is formed then we can easily get the answer think about a maze think about a maze if you start from quest, uh, question it can move in any direction but when you start from answer to question you'd be having only one direction okay so a lot of smart people would be moving from behind to the top so think about it and slowly proceed to the next level okay this is what this is what this is what we'll be getting the result immediately okay so here x cube plus a plus b plus c into x squared ab plus bc plus ca into x plus abc this is the formula so if a equal to 1 b equal to 2 and c equal to 3 then x cube plus 1 plus 2 6 x squared 2 plus 6 8 plus 3 11 11 x ab plus bc plus ca plus 2 into 3 is 6 okay here x cube plus 9 x squared 12 8 20 26 26 x plus 12 24 12 2 24 all right so this is how you will be forming here it will be 9 12 x cube plus 12 x squared this is 20 15 35 20 15 35 12 47 47 x plus 20 into 3 60 so like that you have to form cubic for here cubic for here all these questions you have to be careful when you are working with this first we did all addition system did only positive signs here it there is a negative sign so x cube is fine 1 plus 3 4 x squared it will be minus 1 plus 2 is 1 1 plus 3 4 4 x squared then we don't know whether it is positive or negative okay minus 2 minus 3 that is minus 5 plus 6 no plus 1 Hmm, okay so you are again proving there is some thing with uh, with that negative sign all right so 1 x the sign is minus minus into plus into plus minus 6 so you have to be strong x cube 6 minus 3 3 x squared then Minus six, minus twelve. That is minus eighteen, plus eight. Minus eighteen plus eight. Minus ten. Minus eighteen plus eight. Minus ten. Minus ten x. Again, sine is minus twelve into two, twenty-four. Okay. So here too. like that you have to work on all these cube so that you would be familiar with all type of question your questions will be very very simple it will not be bigger one but if you have worked with a bigger problem your questions will be a smaller problem so you have to work on these okay these are the exercise which i am going to provide to you today okay there are numerous methods of working i'll teach you one by one take those print outs and ask you to work slowly before we uh, complete you'd be fast in all kinds of multiplications additions you're already fast but your speed would be enormous okay and there'll not be any mistakes while you're working you can work the sum very very fast then we'll be provide proceeding with the next steps okay if you speed and uh, uh, sped up your mathematics increase your speed in mathematics all the subjects will be very very easy 
so maths has this power when you are strong in mathematics all the subjects also can be stronger so applying these principles only we are getting the desired result okay check into it work on it have this in my, in your mind definitely you would be getting that result the required desired result right okay so you have completed one you are learning more new things how do you feel Mm. Uh, you got the mistake it's better it's now rather than your exams or when you are working the sums if you are getting mistakes while you are working the sum it will take twice or four times the time if you understand oh these are these are the places where i'm doing this mistake you will be strong then there will not be any doubt you will be getting the result without any delays right so this is what you have to do i am also having a great time with you all right you are the third student with the speed to understand to cope up with my speed one was dinesh he is no more now he had a bike accident he is no more now then kesavan he became so strong in mathematics and so observed in mathematics after my teaching and everything he told that definitely i am going to take bsc mathematics okay then he went for entrance exam for msc mathematics and cleared and got into macro chemistry i told it's not enough you had to move on and he wrote an exam jam which will if you get good score in jam you can get into iits now is studying in iit msc mathematics in iit one year is going to be completed one year is completed now in another year he'll be totally different he want to do phd in mathematics next so when you become strong in mathematics is not that i'm working lot of a lot of time it's about how fast you are how you are adapting you should not you are doing any mistakes mistakes should be smaller when you do that automatically it will be easy all right so you are the third person i'm teaching in this manner all right others i wouldn't have completed half the portion because i have to go here and there and i'll not be this much faster when i'm teaching someone else according to that adaptability i will change myself okay this one this one this one the next exercise and all next chapter and all we will be moving very very fast because after one example theory if you could proceed with the sums okay these are all already the fundamental the speed build up and everything is fine and this is the only concept you have to understand in this question if you understand that question okay let's move to the next one move to the next one and while you are working if you have any doubts you couldn't work out a question then we can easily say oh this is where you are getting things wrong so we can check that one where you went wrong why you went wrong and what kind of mistakes you are doing there then it will be easy for you to move on all right so my plan for you is completely this way if you are working within this time stipulated time limit within the time limit before your school starts i should be completing at least 60 to 70 percentage of portion after school starts it's okay you would be regular in school or you would have completed almost more than half of the portion it will be easy for you easy for you in school i'll be making the other things simple segregate into a simple pattern and if you take print out of those and put a spiral binding whenever we teach you can use that worksheets work there itself and proceed there itself and proceed all right that's what i want to do and hope you will be completing all these faster and automatically next you have to dedicate time to your science all right dedication of uh, time to science is very very important when you dedicate proper time and understand the facts whatever question is thrown to you you'll be able to answer these are the things i want to do with you okay right? 
let's see how it proceeds. If it proceeds, we'll be completing both the topic within this month itself, both mathematics and science. Go and be relaxed, revise that itself in your school. And after school, just be in home. You don't need any extra classes or tuitions or anywhere. You can just be in home, be relaxed, work to, uh, work to the next level, go for other subjects too, excel in those subjects, and you can easily move as the topper in your school. Not only in school, I want you to better be in this district as well. You have the capability, why don't you use that? Okay, not only this, I want you to score in all the subjects. Okay, good, well done. As you get strong, definitely, as you get strong, definitely your speed, our teaching speed also will be improving. Okay, this one, this one, okay, this exercise completed. Next one, next one, next one, I'll be proceeding. 